ghetto Sospetto di anarchia Reo di resistenza Ad uno stato di polizia Colpevole di esilio E di lavoro nero Colpevole di fame Nel ventre dell'impero Nel nome del denaro Colpevole senza rinvio Di anima migrante Di avere un altro Dio Tanti siamo in tanti Tutti con le spalle al muro Avanti andiamo avanti Cosmo Poli e il futuro Colpevole di ghetto Affetto da liberazione Privato del The tide washed life up onto the beach. Twelve hours later, it came back to get it. But life had already moved inland and invested heavily in real estate. In those days, the gods had all the best apartments. From balconies of cloud and marble, they watched with amusement as the monkeys came down from the trees and picked up liars. Nowadays, the gods live in the ghetto. Because the ghetto is where the stories are. Man has always invoked the immortals through sacrifice, sexual intercourse, and narration. The sacrifice is now unheard of, sex has become a grief instead of a joy to the world, and we've begun to let corporations tell our stories for us. Our convoluted myths of spiral and light and darkness, reduced to fast food cliches and happy face lies. Is it any wonder the gods are bored and alienated? That we find them lying in ghetto gutters, drunk on cheap ink, street of jive? Listen, the ghetto is a storybook. Prison is a theater. Every riot is a ballet. Rebellion is opera. Debauchery is an ongoing poem. And history is a novel. But you and I writing. Listen, your life is a story. You're making it up. And you better start getting good at it. Because late last night, on the wolf grin side of midnight, 
I saw the old man come over the hill with a sack of goodies on his back. And in the ghetto, the gods are growing restless. <laughs>